goblins and all you spooky creatures out there. I'm your host, Angela Phoenix, and you're watching Up All Nights. Tonight it is 84 degrees out, so I decided why not have a campfire in my own backyard. <laughs> yes, it is so much fun, it's scary. And tonight's movie, we'll be watching Blow Me Too. And here I have the star of this infamous film. So, let's get to the movie. <laughs> Action there from uh, Miss Mr. Blower, Mr. Blow, Blow Joe, Blow Sif, Blow No. You want one of these for the campfire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just need to loosen up a bit, you know. Uh, anyway, well, he figures that out. Let's let's get back to the movie. <laughs> So now you're even blowing people in the shower. Wow, very very tasteful of you. Oh my god, these bugs. Uh, so, it's amazing how you downed that beer. I, I still can't figure out how you even, like, put your mouth on it. Uh, maybe you should, like, run the blower, get some of these, like, mosquitoes and stuff away. Like, be helpful, maybe. Is, is there anything you want to add? Please, I'm a host, but I need, I need people to communicate with me. Uh, let's keep watching the movie. You know, it's nights like this, I think, uh, a story that happened a long time ago. You ever heard the story of the blower? No. There's a guy that used to work at uh, Ace Hardware. So, anyway, this guy worked there, and one day uh, they got this new shipment of equipment. And uh, one of the things they got in were blowers. Was, everybody was thinking how cool they looked, and at the time they were electric. They really... They really had a lot of power to him, a lot of kick, and he's going back to show his girlfriend who worked doing inventory in the store and caught her in the back with his best friend, Joe. Yeah, wasn't pretty. He was so angry, he went up there and he grabbed one of those blowers and he reared back, didn't start, reared back, didn't start, caught his breath, reared back, still didn't start, so he just leaned over and sucked some air in for a minute and uh, then he reared back and finally the fourth time it started. And he didn't even look back. He blew them both apart. Ah! Alan, you're such an asshole. <laughs> awesome. This job, buddy. Woo! Fuck yeah. No, but that story's true. What a fascinating uh, origin story you have there. Yeah, very interesting. I guess working in retail does that to you. I thought it would be like a janitor or something, judging by the outfit. But anyway. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, anyway, uh, l let's get back to your movie. Yes. Th this movie is just so, so fascinating. I can't even believe my eyes. Um, do you have anything you want to say about it? I mean, it is your movie. Uh... Well, um, I don't want the fact to be lost that I am Juilliard trained. Oh, you you were trained at Juilliard? Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, go Muskrats. Uh, go Muskrats. Um, I was in the same class as Robin Williams and Chris Reeves. That, that explains your superior acting skills here. 
Yeah, and a lot of this came out of the, like, exercises we would do between classes. Um, that's kind of where I got the motivation for this. So you guys would just go around blowing things between classes? I more than them. Oh. I blew a lot more than they did. Oh, yes. Uh, and why, why did you choose the leaf blower as your main weapon here? Well, I saw it as a phallic metaphor of the oppression that females deal with. I majored in female studies. Oh. Um, and I knew that the script, the female or the final girl would come out and be the victor. And I wanted to symbolize how they could overcome the oppression of a male dominated society. Wow, that, that, that's amazing. I, I didn't realize there were that many metaphors in this blow me too. And that's fascinating because society so much sucks the life out of people, but you're really blowing back. Blowing them, yeah. Yeah, that's that that's interesting. Let's let's see more of that fine Juilliard acting. Come on, start, please. So so now you're blowing people in cars. That's that's quite fascinating. I, I just can't get over this movie. I mean, we had Blow Me One, which uh, someone unplugged you so you could not uh, continue your reign of terror. Then there's Blow Me Two, and as we know, uh, you run out of gas. So is, is there any works of a Blow Me Three coming out anytime soon? Well, Angela, if I could call you Angela. Yeah, for sure. Um, yes, it is the 25th anniversary of Blow Me. And we want to tap into the ecology and how people are going green. Um, we want to have a film where it's an electric or a battery powered, solar powered, I should say, blower. Um, and looking to get appearances by Greta Thornburg. And um, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who knows the pool boy for Jeff Bezos. Wow. Um, I don't know if we'll get Elon Musk in it, but, um, you know, with a, a solar-powered blower, how are they going to stop me, right? Exactly. I mean, it's definitely not going to happen, you know, when the nightfall happens or anything like that. But this is oh. up all night, so uh, let's get back to the movie, shall we? Hello? Johnny? Yeah, what's up? Johnny, are you in the house? I'm not in the house. I'm out camping with the guys like I told you I'd be. I heard a noise. It's probably the dog. It's not the dog, Johnny. It's it's, it's something else. It's, there's something in the house. Well, I'm out here with the guys, and I can't be bothered right now. I'm cooking my nuts. But, John... Well, like, like what? What does it sound like? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm scared. Well, you know, you need to get over it. I'll be back sometime tomorrow, and you'll be fine. Why don't you just have a drink and uh, watch uh, Ally McBeal or whatever the fuck you guys watch? Johnny? Are you there? Ew. Johnny? <gasps> oh my god! Bitch hung up on me. Oh my goodness, you cut the cord to the phone. Uh, how do you think that would play out nowadays with everyone and their handheld smartphones and everything. Well, it is funny because now we all have cell phones and mm -hmm. we'll deal with that in the third one. But it was such a trope back then you had to make sure they couldn't call for help. Ah, yes. Um, but yeah, it was fun to do that. A little known fact is that um, we actually, where we were shooting, we cut the actual phone lines. Oh. Um, so when one of the crew started having an allergic reaction to peanuts, we couldn't call anybody and they died. Oh, that, that's quite nuts. I mean, that... <laughs> it is nuts. It is. Uh, not for them. Peace out, Polly. Um, but it, you know, it's realistic. We did 
we did what we had to do, right? We yeah, were I just mean, shooting uh, a film, but um, yeah. that's why it's been so long till we make another one because we got sued by um, his um, girlfriend at the time. Ah, uh, I see. Well, you know, you can't help that. No. <laughs> but uh, you're yeah. looking quite hungry. Uh, that's why I have these uh, handy dandy skewers here. Oh. I hear you like skewering people as well. Nice. And, and some nice hot dogs. So. Would you, would you like to do the honors of roasting oh, some over the fire? Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, go Thank ahead. you. Just stab it right there. Yeah. Just like that? Yeah. Oh, and I, they're telescopic. Fun. Yeah. Oh, you I've know? never done this. My dad was in prison most of my life, so I didn't get to do these things. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, just look like at that, that. You know, do you like your uh, hot dogs uh, well done? or? <laughs> I don't eat hot dogs. No? I'm a vegan. Oh, so I guess today's your lucky day? I guess so. Are these vegan dogs? Sure. Okay. Yeah. They're whatever you want them to be, really. I like how it catches on fire. Oh, yeah. that's that's. The, I, I like, like what you're fire. doing there. That's, a, that's an interesting technique. Fire's but... fun. Yeah. Um, Do you like fire, Angela? Yeah. You know, it's nice. Little scented candles and stuff like that. Oh, this is great. Let's get back to the movie. I gotta tell you, I feel like there's something out here. You know, Cindy called, and I think she's just being a paranoid bitch. She knew I was out here with you and those two girls. I think that's what the problem was. There's nothing out there. I think something is going on. I think Cindy may be on something. Oh, dude, Cindy's on something, all right. We're out here, we're having a camp out in the backyard. She's so hopped up on whatever the doctor gave her, she doesn't even know we're out here. <sighs> what if she's not imagining? <sighs> what if? What if I could shoot golden Twinkies out of my ass? We're back, and we're still roasting and toasting these dogs here. This is fun. Uh, yes, yes, it's very fun. See, th there's different hobbies you can have, you know, and... Yep, so you like them well done, I see? I do. Yeah, right there in the ashes and everything, that's... I've never had one. Oh, no? no. They're, they're, they're pretty common. Where's the chocolate? Don't you have graham crackers with these? Oh, I mean, you could if you wanted to. It's, it's an acquired taste. Uh, why don't you try it and see how you like it? Okay. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. This. How's I once worked at a truck stop. Did I tell you that? Oh, no, no. Please elaborate. We used to put these in there, and then sometimes when I cleaned the bathroom, I would go in there, and they had this place where they told me if I just went in there, I'd make a friend. Oh. I never made a lot of friends because they were always gone, and then I'd come out and all the hot dogs are gone, so I never got to eat one. Oh, uh, that, that's unfortunate, but it looks like you're having so much uh, fun. This is fun. I maybe, know why you like them. Maybe you should try the eye holes. They might fit in there. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is good. Oh, I'm going to get a hot dog eye, aren't I? Oh. I had a friend that got that once oh. in prison. He got a hot dog eye. Oh. It stings, and it, it's like pink eye, but it smells like mustard. That's why they call it hot dog eye. Ah. Uh. You ever had that? No, I can't say I have. Oh, but, it's so bad. Uh, let's get back to the movie, shall we? Well, maybe we should check on it anyway. No, dude, the phone went dead. It happens when there's a bad storm in the area. It just so happens that this time there's not a bad storm in the area, but she's fine. I've I never heard of a storm that cuts the wire. It knocks the power out. I, uh, it's been in the movies and stuff. There was a thing on the news about it. Yeah. So I think fire. I should check on her anyway. Mm -mm. You see, it's all going to be fine. We'll sit out here with the girls. We'll smoke a couple bongs and... Nothing bad's gonna happen. Uh, how about after the orgy, we go check on Cindy? Sure. What the hell, dude? What are you doing in my backyard? Bro, I think that's the guy from the story. Oh, come on, Not man. the blower. I made that story up to get the girls to take their clothes off. That's the... Look! Dude, he has a blower! He works at the gas station. He's probably lost. He... No speaking of English? Do you need directions? What's going on, brother? Why are you in my backyard? The fuck out of here! I got a machete. I'm not afraid to use it. Dude, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? Blow me? Whoa. Oh shit! I'm out of here! Wow, the, these scenes are just totally incredible and... Oh, I, I didn't see you sitting there. Hi. Hey, Angela, I'm so fly. I was buzzing around the fire here. Early you tried to take a swat at my family. Uh, they're they're eating me up all night, okay? That's like, not me. I we're being framed. Those are mosquitoes. Do I look like a mosquito? Uh kind of. I mean I'm pretty fly. 
for a white guy. Oh, I'm not white. Jesus. Uh, alrighty. Um. So so tell me a little bit about yourself. Like what what's your industry? What's well, I'm very optical. I can see many things in many colors, multiple. It's like a kaleidoscope of fun. Oh. Yeah. Then I get myself a stogie, a brandy. I sit around and then I buzz around and I I I, I annoy people for a living. That's what I do. Oh, I, I see. And uh, what's your favorite type of food to land on? And It's not a secret, Angela. It's poop. Ah. I like poop. Different types of poop. Oh, that's that's yeah. that's that's nice. I mean, to I each mean, their own. A lot of people waste things. You'd be surprised at like, the nutritional value of a turd. I am very surprised. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, so, does the smoke from the cigar affect you at all? I know you guys don't like these these candles and stuff and the fire. Well, and you see, this this is fire inside me. It's the fire that I breathe. Ah. It it, it gives me confidence to come so, out here and annoy so you, you could, people. You could say you're a dragonfly. Oh. Ah. Somebody over here is crazy. She's crazy. Yeah, it's it's clearly me. Anyway, uh, we got we got a show to do. So oh, just, oh just Jesus, goes out. Oh, crazy. Yeah, like ah. just. Shoot! Shoot! have a whole like camera set up and a bunch a ton of employees working for us like, oh yeah this is a, yeah i wanted to come out here and, and plug my book oh you have you right not only do i have a book i got a daytime talk show oh my goodness yeah uh, and i know there's a big strike going on but i'm hiring anybody i don't care oh do they have to be like a certain like size no though? no if you can pick up a shovel and 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 shovel things you're hired oh uh what what's the name of this uh talk show that you run well, it's a daytime talk show, and it's called Marvin. My name's Marvin. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fly, a house fly. Oh. So it's just called Marvin. You know how they have, like, Drew? You got to have one name to be cool. Okay. So it's just Marvin. All right. So you're... I mean, you could call me Marvelous Marvin, if that's what you want to mm -hmm. do. It's up to you people. It's a theater of the mind. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so can you tell me the difference between, like, a house fly and a fruit fly? Is the... Well, you see, flies are based on where they live. I live in a house. I'm a house fly. Okay. I live in a condo. I'm a condo fly. I could be a retiree fly. I could be a fly that lives in a cave. I'm a cave fly. If I'm a fly, you know, right now I'm a house fly, but I'm outside. So you could technically call me camping yeah, and, fly if you wanted to, but that'd be stupid because yeah, I live in a house. Yeah, and if uh, you had a saddle on, you'd be a horse fly. Oh, man, she's full of them tonight. That goes crazy. Yeah, because we kind of have... Put her on tour! Yeah, we have a, a show to do, so can you, like, fly away? Like, go? Just, like, fly away? Uh, you are so finished, dude. goodness i'm at the edge of my seat that ending scene was incredible you're acting and everyone else is i'm like, not really dead oh no like i'm here uh, yes <laughs> I i'm glad you're Good. not just a figment of my imagination yeah. anyway I i'm so glad we got to spend this uh nice campfire together and yeah. you got to uh, eat your hot dog and i'd love to come back anytime oh yeah that that would be nice okay yeah. Yeah, but any anyway, this has been... Maybe I should just stay here. Would you like me to stay here? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's all right. You, I'm sure you have things to do and places to be. And mm, Not so much. No? Okay. Well, anyway, this has hey, been... I could do some yard work. I mean, I got this thing. Oh, yeah. Some Uber, you need me to drive, maybe pick some stuff up for you? Uh, uh, well, we'll talk about it. How okay. about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway... This has been Up All Night. I've been your host, Angela Phoenix, and the blower, um, Mr. Blow Joe, Mr. Blow Jangles, huh. as, as some I like, like to that call one. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. Sweet dreams, my loves. <laughs>